So for those of you who haven't heard my rant about why not start a podcast, you should watch that one first or you don't have to. Leah was incredibly patient with my, <laughs> she asked the question and I started ranting and, and here, here she is with a follow-up question that I'm going to rant a little bit more. But because she asked good questions, that's why I'm able to, I'm able to talk about these things and like tell what I believe is, 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 is a really important thing for people to know, which is if you're going to go through the trouble of making a podcast, knowing that it's going to get well, it's going to be very hard to market it compared to other ways of creating content and putting it out there. Podcast is really hard. You might as well, and you could still do the podcasting, but you might as well turn it into, you know, one of the things that Leah said, which is a really good point. So, well, the reason why I want to, that making a podcast makes me, that I'm interested in doing it is because it allows me to tell stories without having to feel like I have to be good on camera. And I agree. Being good, you know, good on camera is an extra energy expenditure than like talking on the phone is easier. And, and in some ways, like, you know, that's an example, right? Like talking on the phone, like is easier than having to look good on camera, talking with a friend even, right? So same thing, telling a story just via audio. You don't have to feel like, what, well, how's my face looking? How's my, right? So why not turn your audio only content into a video on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram because those are actually going to get more views and consumption than your podcast episode, probably. And then so Leah says, well, can a video not have, not have imagery? Do I have to go through the trouble of editing a video into a, you know, having slides for a video? No, you don't. Let me show you. Um, personally, I listen to YouTube videos more than I watch them. Did you know that? Like a lot of people do. A lot of people listen to YouTube videos when they're washing the dishes, walk, going on walks. I put my video just in my pocket. It's playing a YouTube video, but I'm not watching the video. I'm listening to most of my YouTube videos. So let me show you um, as an example. Okay, so let me show you. Show you uh, for a long time, I was listening to this channel called, um, this is going to sound weird, but it's, I, I, I believe in it. It's called You Don't Die um, Radio even. I don't know if it's called You Don't Die. We Don't Die Radio. Okay. And, uh, oh, now she has actual interviews, but look, most of her previous, God, if I could I have to scroll back how long, because most of, most of her previous episodes were her podcast episodes. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, let me reshare my screen so that you can actually hear, you can actually hear this. So, um, this pain, can you hear that? I just want it to go away. Okay. Paramedics look. came out, checked me all over. And basically said to me, the entire video is just, and guess, and look at this, 14,000 views, views, okay, with 327 likes and 40 comments. Nobody saw a single image except this image. And there are other, many other YouTube channels that are actually audio only even if they don't have a podcast, it's just audio only with a single image, no, no video editing. Well, actually, I'm sorry, there is video editing. The only video editing uh, is to create an image and go to Capwing and um, uh, I could show you. I mean, uh, I should know, I'm, I'm gonna make a separate video for how do you use Cap, I use Capwing for video editing because I don't know how to do video editing and Capwing makes it so easy that I can, I can do it. Um, but yeah, it literally would take me, if I already recorded an audio file, it would take me three minutes to go to Capwing, put an image up. Okay, sorry. It would take me three minutes to create an image on Canva and then another three minutes to, to edit the video on Capwing, put an image there, audio, that's it. And, put, and upload to YouTube, IGTV, Facebook, and be able to run ads on Facebook and YouTube if I wanted to. And that would get, that piece of content would get a hundred times more consumption than a podcast episode, which is like I've already said before, it's very hard to market it. Now, um, and, and the other thing about it is that it's easier for people to comment on a video than it is to comment on a podcast. How do I comment on a podcast episode? I can't. There's at least at this, as of this time of this recording, there's no way to comment on a podcast episode in, in most apps, right? iTunes, you can't. Uh, Google Play, you can't. 
Spotify, I don't think you can. Maybe you can in Spotify. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, Jason's shaking his head. So anyway, that's all I'm saying is if you're going to record a podcast episode, you might as well turn it into video as well. And if making the podcast episode is your is helping you because it's more it's easier for you to create the podcast episode because that's the way you like to create, great. But just if you can take, if you like to make more impact is what I'm trying to say with that piece of content, you, you recorded it, you might as well make an impact with it. Make, make it into a video as well. So 